This is Bruce Bishop for Chronicle T. We're back here at Lorain County Community College with Tim Alcorn from AM 930 WEOL. How's it going, Tim? It's going well. Great to be back here at Lorain County Community College. And before we get rolling as far as high school football is concerned, we should say that this week we film right in front of the bookstore here at Lorain County Community College. And it certainly uh, is one of the great things here on campus. Obviously, all of the kids uh, and all of the students come here for their books and so forth. But... Man, sweatshirts, t-shirts, hats, uh, a lot of other stuff is available at the Lorain County Community College Bookstore. So, hey, if you're out and about uh, looking for a great sweatshirt or a hat to wear, I'll put my LCCC thinking cap on a little bit later on. Uh, the bookstore is a great place to stop by right here in the main area. So uh, come and visit the bookstore. Right across from Starbucks where uh, yes. I ordered my second <laughs> caramel macchiato in two weeks. Well, you need one because you were staying out late uh, on Monday night during that unbelievable storm. I want to give you a quick plug. You took one of the greatest pictures of the Lorraine Lighthouse I have ever seen. And I'm not just saying that because you're sitting across from me. Uh, the Lighthouse, it was in Tuesday's Chronicle, just lit up with the lightning that was out over the lake. Phenomenal picture, Bruce Bishop. Job very, very well done. Thank you. Thank you. It's a long summer of chasing, so it's <laughs> kind of nice that it finally pays off at the end. Great shot. Unbelievable picture. Thank you. So let's talk about something people care about other than my picture. <laughs> let's talk about high school football. High school football. Uh, boy, week two in the books. Uh, Lorraine County again went 8-8. Eight and eight. Uh, Lorraine County had an 8-8 eight and eight week one, another 8-8 eight and eight as far as week two is concerned. So now after two weeks, uh, things are starting to shake out a little bit. Uh, we've got five teams in the county that have opened up 2-0. and oh. uh, So good starts uh, for five of the teams in Lorraine County. Got five teams that are 0 and 2, still looking for that very first win of the year, and uh, six teams that have split their first two ball games of the year. So uh, we'll see how things unfold as uh, the weeks move along here. But good to see five teams that are 2 and 0 on the year, and certainly uh, for week two, uh, boy, there were some interesting results. The game we had on WEOL Radio on Friday night, we thought that would be a, a real close, uh, competitive affair. Not so at all. Avon just steamrolled Olmstead Falls. They got an unbelievable performance from David Orlando. Young man scored two touchdowns. He kicked four extra points, played defensively, kicked a field goal. I think the only thing that David Orlando didn't do on Friday night was a play in the band at halftime and sell popcorn at the concession stand. He had an incredible performance. He was our Lorain County Community College player of the game for Avon's huge win on Friday night. And then another big performance on Friday night uh, came from the Midview Middies. Uh, they just steamrolled North Ridgeville over at Midview. They got terrific ball games from their running back, Connor Wolf. Uh, 17 carries for 178 yards. Uh, our Lorain County Community College player of the game in that ball game was Midview wide receiver and defensive back Nick Crum. He had a couple of touchdowns for the Middies, uh, had an interception for Midview, so a big win for Midview to get them to 2-0 and on the year. So uh, our two games on Friday night, Avon, Midview, big wins. They're both 2-0. and uh, Looks like uh, they're putting together special seasons uh, as far as uh, the Eagles and the Middies are concerned. So off the top of your head, any other standout players that we want to throw in there this week? Yeah, from last week, uh, certainly uh, Drew Engel over at Clearview. Uh, he deserves some kudos. Uh, he had a tremendous night for Clearview. They went over to the east side uh, and took on Painesville Harvey, a, a game that a lot of people thought was going to be a real challenge for Clearview. In fact, in the CT picket line, uh, Painesville Harvey was the favorite. But, boy, led by Drew Engel, uh, Clearview proved them wrong. Uh, they had a great effort from Drew, and that got them to 1-1 one and one on the year with their victory and certainly uh, you know for Clearview that was a much needed win uh, they had dropped a, a real tough one to Amherst in their season opener so yeah big win for Clearview uh, Lorraine had another big night uh, offensively uh, they scored a lot of points against Midview in their opener but came up shy but they just steamrolled JFK that kind of gives Lorraine now a lot of momentum as they get ready for Elyria this week and a Thursday night game the Elyria Lorraine game will be a Thursday night game we'll have that game on WEOL and Vermillion uh, a huge win over Brookside uh, they've got a great quarterback in Seth Hurd uh, keep that young man's name in mind uh, he's a terrific ball player a great leader for the Vermilion Sailors, so they're 2-0 and as they get ready for a Firelands team on Friday night that's also 2-0. and uh, The Falcons have come out of the gate very, very quickly. So those would be uh, some of the performances, some of the teams that would stand out uh, from last Friday night, Bruce. 
Okay, and you kind of covered some of the games coming up, though. What are, what are some more of the games coming up this week? Well, we mentioned, we're uh, watch? yeah, Elyria at Lorraine over at George Daniel Field. Uh, that's a Thursday night game on WEOL. So uh, for the fans in Lorraine County, uh, it's the only game in the county, obviously, being on Thursday night. So uh, let's hope there's a huge crowd over at George Daniel on Thursday. Uh, Friday night, a couple of big games that are on the docket. I mentioned that Vermilion Firelands game, uh, two teams that are 2-0. and Going at it uh, over at Firelands. That'll be on WEOL.com. That'll be our Stream 2 matchup. I mentioned Midview now 2-0 and after two wins to start the season. And they host a the North Olmstead team in Southwestern Conference play. That's also 2-0 and on the year. So uh, that's a big game as far as uh, an early SWC showdown is concerned. And then our radio game on WEOL on Friday night, uh, the, the Battle of Route 83 as Avon Lake goes over to Avon. And certainly uh, Avon looking for some revenge. It was Avon Lake. I know I mentioned this last week in our shoot here at the college. Uh, it was Avon Lake that had the huge upset in week one of the playoffs last year knocked Avon out. Uh, I'm sure those Avon kids and their head coach, Mike Elder, uh, they've had this game circled on the calendar since their season ended uh, prematurely for them uh, last November. So uh, that's a big one. We've got that game on the radio on Friday night. All right, so, you know, it's time for that very special segment, the uh, Tim Elkhorn Thinking Oh, cap, Which, the, by the way, I noticed <laughs> you removed the price tag from I the did. back, so apparently I we did. did good enough last week that well, we're going to stick around. Because I paid for it. That's <laughs> probably a good reason, too. I figured I could take the price tag off. I paid for it. Right on. <laughs> so, our question this week, uh, we have a couple teams that don't have any wins, and I'd kind of like to know what you're thinking on uh, who's most likely to fix that. Well, that's a great question, Bruce. We got, Of course it's a great question. Got... You gave it to me before we started. <laughs> so we got five teams that are 0-2 that have gotten off to tough starts. Uh, Oberlin, Wellington, Elyria. Brookside in North Ridgeville. Now let's hope all five of them can get their first win uh, this weekend. But let's see. The, the team that has the best shot of getting their first victory, I'll go with Wellington. I'll go with Wellington, uh, the team in southern Lorain County. It's been a bumpy start for them, no doubt. Uh, they take on a new London ball club that has really struggled this year. So I'm not saying the other four don't have an opportunity to get a win, but uh, the team with the best chance to get their first win this weekend, uh, I'll go with Wellington. So there's one of my picks in the CT picket line. There I've already go. given one of those away. Okay, so another question then. Uh, we have some teams who haven't lost. And any uh, any danger for them ahead this week? Well, we know one of them is going to get beat because Firelands and Vermilion are both 2-0, and and they play on Friday night. I mentioned that's our Stream 2 game. So uh, one of those teams is going to go down to defeat uh, and hats off to both of those clubs for coming out of the shoot at 2-0. and uh, That's a great start. Um, Avon, uh, they've got Avon Lake. Uh, that's always a great border war ball game, as I mentioned. Uh, Amherst takes on North Ridgeville. North Ridgeville lost to Midview last week, but they were without their great running back, uh, Shamari Williams. I don't know what his status is for Friday night yet, uh, but Amherst uh, off to a good 2-0 and start. And as I said, Midview takes on a North Olmstead team that's also a 2-0 and on the year. So all five Lorain County teams that are 2-0 and on the year, uh, they're in for challenges uh, this Friday night. It could be interesting. I'm looking forward to week three. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I get to call that Elyria Lorain game on Thursday, and Lorain's 1-1, one one, Elyria's 0-2. Oh I know it's an old cliche, but throw those records out. It's Pioneers and Titans. Should be a lot of fun. Okay. All right, let's wrap this up because I'm going to go in the bookstore and find my Broadcasting for <laughs> Dummies book. <laughs> All right. Bruce, good to see you. Thanks, sir. Looking forward to being back here next week. And again, a huge thank you to everybody here at Lorain County Community College. And uh, as I said, looking for that hoodie, that T-shirt, that hat. Drop, drop by the bookstore here at LCC. All right. See you next week. All right. Thanks, Bruce.